What's up everyone? Want to do a little review on this Honey Badger Performance Energy pre-workout. Um, some of you guys have expressed interest, interest in this. It's got zero calories, no sugar. Um, it's been sweetened with stevia, so I know some of y'all like that. Uh, so I'm going to give it a taste test here for you guys. I'm about to go do a chest and back workout. I'm just going to do one scoop of this. We got this little trial container. It has like maybe 8 to 10 servings in it, I think, and... Um, it's a lemon lime flavor and this was better than the other flavor they had there at FitCom to try which I believe was a fruit punch um, neither of them are excellent but this one is a lot a lot better I think so um, I figured people would like this because it's sweetened naturally um, <clears throat> it's got vitamin C in it uh, potassium so it's got some of your um, salts in there L-arginine for a pump beta alanine for the tingle citrulline malate again for the pump so this should maybe be a good pump product, and it's got 150 mgs of um, caffeine, so can't ask for much more than that. So I'll mix this up and try this for you guys. We'll hopefully film the workout if the gym isn't too busy, and I'll let you know how it made me feel. I'm expecting a decent pump out of this. Probably not a whole lot of energy, at least not, um, only because it's not super stimulant heavy. So it's mixing pretty well so far with just a spoon. I'm just going to down this right before the pre-work, uh, right before the gym so I don't have to take an entire shaker with me. It's really tart, I feel like. Really, it's more lemony than anything. But, like I said, this flavor is actually pretty good. I actually pretty... I like it better than when we tried it um, at their booth at FitCon. It's pretty good, guys. Alright, wish me a good workout. I'll let you know how it goes. Alright guys, so here's a little bit of commentary for you for this chest and back workout. So, I started it off with chest. Um, did a couple chest exercises. This is from a, quite a few days ago, so I don't exactly remember what I did, but here we go. So I started off with decline. Um, decline, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, is one of my favorite um, chest exercises. They say that um, doing a decline chest press actually activates more muscle fibers in the pecs as opposed to flat or incline. Um, so I think that's an interesting piece of piece of information there because a lot of people think it just targets the lower pecs and here we have some flies so you guys know how I feel about that always um, on your chest workout have um, some sort of movement where you're moving your arms like this where the bone of the upper arm also known as the humerus is um, going toward the midline of the body you can do this with dumbbells you can do it standing with the machine that's kind of behind me in this shot or seated like this you could do them flat on an incline, on a decline, but make sure you do that and you should get a great pump. Now this is a hammer strength machine. So guys, if you see these machines at your gym, they can look kind of intimidating because there's, you know, so many different ones. There's, you know, uh, some for back, some for chest, but give them a shot. It's a great way to isolate a body part. This here is specifically an incline um, hammer strength. And notice that my, my upper back is pressed into the pad behind me. Um, and that's important for any chest movement to um, have your kind of have a, an arch in your back and make sure you're pressing through the chest. All right, so since I'm doing chest and back, which are both major body parts, I had to be picky and choosy with what exercises I did. So, um, like most back exercises or back workouts, excuse me, I like to start off with um, lat pull downs. It's a great way to activate the lats, uh, just get, get some blood in the area. It's such a huge muscle in the back, it's a great way to start. Now this here is another hammer strength machine, one of my favorites for back. At this point I had done a drop set, so I think I had had two plates and a quarter on each side and had, I had stripped the weights off um, and gone to exhaustion. And you'll see in a couple seconds here, I'm going to do kind of like these small reps here at the top of the movement and that's just a good way to like burn out. Uh, so cable rows, this is a classic back exercise. Um, and I get a great squeeze in my mid upper back from doing this, so I highly recommend it. Great back exercise um, to, to finish a back workout with. All right guys, so summer has begun. Let myself have a beer today. I don't drink very often now that I'm cutting, or should I say really at all. But uh, got the fire going, got it getting warm, burning some of the crud off the grill. It's like a shared grill at an apartment complex, so uh, letting everything gross burn off of there. But we are grilling up today, guys. We are doing some food prep. Um, not a whole lot, just a little. 
But check this out. My girlfriend picked this up. This is a surprise. Not something we usually have, but a sweet Asian seasoned beef flank steak. I love flank steak. Really flavorful. So excited for that. Some boneless, uh, of course, boneless skinless chicken breast. Gotta have that as a bodybuilder. And some turkey burger patties to change it up a little bit. So excited about that, guys. Fire's going well. I'll keep you guys updated. And now we wait. All right, guys, here's what we got going on here. Right now, it's two sweet potatoes, or three chickens, cooked to perfection so far. Some of these turkey burgers getting started in the front of the grill where it's a little cooler. I'm sorry, a little hotter. Chickens are just kind of finishing up back there. And um, so as you can see, guys, all I've done to this meat was um, added salt and pepper. You can see some pepper flakes on the uh, burgers here. That's it, guys. Good meat. Doesn't necessarily need a whole bunch of seasoning. And uh, just let the grilling add taste and let the meat speak for itself. All right, guys. I'll show you the uh, beef whenever we get ready. Guys, okay, so I'm about to cut up this flank steak. Uh, the thing about flank steak uh, is that you want to cut it against the grain. So the grain is going this way. So I'm making cuts this way. And this came out. It's the first time I've ever cooked one. We have really shitty knives. And it's coming out awesome. Um, it looks... It kind of looks like brisket. I'm not a huge, like, meat expert. Cutting these really thin. But this came out awesome. And it smells G-A-F. Yes, good as F. It looks awesome, guys. So, as soon as we upgrade our knife situation, we'll be doing well. Looks good and juicy. Try not to flip it too many times. Cooked it just right. And then, of course, we've got our hamburgers here. A little bit of chicken. Some corn. Sweet potatoes are in the oven right now because it actually started to get cloudy and look like it was about to rain. So we're finishing off the sweet potatoes in the oven, guys. So it's going to be a good meal. I'll catch you next time.